So remember that other episode that we did with those two anime girls? And it like, just a bunch of random, unexplainable stuff happened. A bunch of creepy weirdos were there. And it was just really fast. And we could really, really, we just, I don't really know how to explain it, but it's just like, a lot happened. Uh, well, yeah, apparently they made a second game, and so we're playing it. BSNB now is a Discord, so click the link in the description and join today. Welcome to the class of 09, the re-up. Now, I know the re-up sounds like a remaster or a remake or something, but apparently it's not. From what I read in the description of the game on Steam, it's not a remake or a remaster. It's entirely different. Uh, it still follows the same characters as far as I'm aware. Okay, let's get this party started. I'm... This party of demonetization. Ugh, I'm not ready for the mental mind that there's gonna be in this game. Yo, we can't say that in the first minute. Oops. Oops. It's funny when a girl tells her story, only to be told back that it's unrealistic. That's unrealistic. Almost as if they're afraid to believe it's real. It's not real. <laughs> it's not real, bro. Oops. Oh, I picked that up. No, my mom's a bitch. My dad. My life sucks, and my brother's on a watch list. Not in that order. Or you have a brother? I don't know. But last year, that combination left me at the worst, most predatory school imaginable. At least I thought it was the worst school. But then I, like, talked to other people, and it turns out it wasn't that bad. Well, no, it was that bad. It was just really standard. Other girls saying their gym teacher wanted to f*** them. Their counselor texting them at 3 in the morning. I was the only one with a white nationalist photography teacher, though, so I guess that's something. But here's the problem. Mom won't listen, the principal doesn't care, and I still have all of senior year to get through. My life's just a game. A sick, hopeless game. Like, I've never really been religious, but if God is some introvert loser sitting in their computer chair, I really hope they can help me through this. Um, I'm actually sitting in a couch. Well, this is more like a love seat. Hey, you're on time. I'm already so fucking over this. All I said was hi. I wish I was hi. Do you think I'm here this early by choice? <sighs> what is it this time? I'm still awake from last night because my mom accidentally took one of my brother's Adderalls. Instead of what? I don't know, like oxy or morphine or something? They give old people heroin pills to mellow out over gas prices. Do those uh. pills even look the same? Anyway, so she won't shut the fuck up over how many days I missed. I'm like, mom, if I can't go to sleep, I'm gonna miss another day. Well, wasn't she right? You're here early for the first time in forever. Oh my god, it's like I'm talking to a guy. Can't you just agree with me and say, yeah, she's a bitch? Okay, sorry, Nicole. Your mom is a bitch fucking... See, now I feel better. This is why we have friends. <laughs> Your mom is a bitch. Oh, guys, what's up? <laughs> that's it. iPhone for my birthday? That's, uh... That's cool. We talked to you, like, once a month. Oh. Well, yeah, it's crazy, because, like, I didn't know iPhones could do this much, bro. Will it kill an Asian child, or is that just when it's being made? Uh, oh, my God. No, no but, like, there's all these cool apps. Like, I know there's YouTube and stuff, but there's apps where you can, like, shoot guns and pop bubbles and stuff. You mean games? It, it's not even, like, games. It's, it's just apps. Like, there's an app for this, there's an app for that. Is there an app that'll make you fuck off and... Probably. Um, is that, like, a choke, or are we... Just go! <laughs> uh, you guys are crazy. That alone was way too much in the morning. There's no way I'm getting through these classes. Are you gonna skip again? What choice did he just leave me? I can't see anyone like him for the rest of the day or I'm gonna go insane. Come on, let's go somewhere. I have a quiz today, Nicole. Oh, you're gonna miss your Scantron memory game? Just retake it tomorrow. <sighs> Fine. So where are we even going? Uh... Well, let's go to the mall. Sure, sure. Everyone loves the mall, especially in the early 2000s. We don't even know what we want to buy. Dude, we're literally in the mall. Just figure it out. Even if I do want something, it's just torture. I have, like, no money. Who said we're buying anything? Just steal the shit. Oh. Damn. Okay. You think they have MSI stuff here? The band? Yeah, they're all in my shuffle, and they might For some reason, I was thinking they were talking about, like, the computer stuff. Oh. Like, do you have an MSI, like, uh, motherboard? And I was like, no, oh, fuck I, yeah. I just realized her pink shirt... It would not work like that. Well, like her breasts going. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, I mean, it, the way the shirt, the fabric is going over her chest area, it wouldn't work like that. 
Unless she, like, tucked it underneath her breasts specifically to do that. Because even form-fitting shirts won't work like that. Unless you tuck it under. I mean, maybe Which, I mean, did. she might have, and that's why it's, like, hanging right above her freaking pant line. <laughs> yeah, like, her, her short shorts are literally, like, three inches tall. <laughs> Uh, should we steal a ten dollars short or steal a CD in two thousand eight? I don't care. I don't approve of either. Oh, uh, just buy like you can just pirate Apple Music in two thousand eight. Why steal a CD? Uh, steal a ten dollar T shirt. This place always. I don't like condone it. Hey, how you guys doing today? Oh my God. <laughs> Shit, are you skipping too? Hi, Trody. Uh, the fuck is his name? Oh, it is Trody, but backwards. Uh, wait, how the fuck do you drop out? Uh, it's a lot of paperwork. You thinking about it too? That's okay. Yeah, you're the guy in the PBS commercials they make fun of. Oh, the tiny wallet commercial? Yeah, it's like 80% of dropouts. Like, I, I don't know. The TV said you suck, so fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Bitch, idiot school. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you thought that would impress us. Yeah, you're dumb, white, and broke. Shut Damn. The fuck up, you albacore eating bitch. Hey, whoa. Damn. Manager, you can't talk to customers like that. Apologize, wage slave. God damn it, fine, sorry. Good. Now, what sizes do you have in Wage slave? The band. Oh my god, uh, dude. Everything but large? Damn, that's the one There's an inside job you. reference on the shirt ball? there. What you see out is what we have, dude. If you don't check right we, now, Sludge Lord you Sunday, you don't know what the fuck that day. means. Fuck, fine. Jokes on you, bitches. So I'm just gonna go back and pretend. I'll be, I'll be honest. Um, back in the day, I was really into Hot Topic. When I was going to Hot Topic, like in the early 2010s era, I was like 13-ish at the time. I thought Hot Topic was fucking cool, but it was like now that I'm older, Hot Topic kind of fucking sucks. It's all overpriced. Nothing's worth it. How would you even steal Dairy Queen? They have to hand it to you. Easy. Why would you risk getting caught? You pay before they hand it to you. Just jump over. Oh my god, they actually have Saku Japan in there. Literally anywhere but here. Come you call that fucking place Mall Chicken. My family <laughs> calls it Mall Chicken. You say Mall Chicken. My family calls it Mall Chicken. It's like, let's go get Mall Chicken. Anytime I think of Mall Chicken, I don't think Saku Japan. <laughs> they look when I say the name of the restaurant to them, they don't understand. So I have to say mall chicken to them, and then they get it. I was just like mall chicken. It just sounds bad. It's like that just sounds terrible. Most of our friends just get jobs to buy Adderall, but he has to like support himself with that. Yeah, almost like he has to deal with the consequences of his actions or something. Since when do you, of all people, worry about accountability? I don't worry about it for my actions. I'm too smart for consequences. It's the one time I feel kind of bad for a guy, because he can't do any of the stupid money jobs like pole dancing. Yeah, if I was dumb as shit, being a stripper would be awesome. Though I'd feel ripped off, because I learned how to read from nothing. What if you're too shy and just work at Hooters? Dude, Hooters is even worse than a club. It's a legalized What? How? How do you know this? My cousin works at one. She says half the girls dudes for like $300 tips and then wonder why they're getting stalked the next week. That's really specific. That really happens. So what's next? I think I want to go back to school now. Dude, you know you're going to end up sitting there bored. I'd rather do that than end up the girl at Hooters. You can just say girl at Hooters. It's implied. Check, please. You're not even paying for it. Just get up and leave. Damn, these guys are just assholes. You girls had a busy morning. Yeah, you don't know the half of it. Not even a quarter, if we're being honest. Well, the sign-in sheet is on the desk. The unexcused column. I think you know it all too well, Nicole. Unexcused? Yeah, we kind of miss class for very traumatic reasons. Yeah, trauma has to be one of the excused hardies, right? For some reason, I don't believe you. But today, I think that's your problem. Is being a fucking bitch your problem? Nicole! Excuse me. Oh Damn. My God, it was the trauma. I'm so sorry. So why don't you both enlighten me to the source of this trauma that's caused absence after absence? Depression, pity, party, lie, lie about, about AIDS? AIDS? Oh my God. Both of these are terrible. This whole game is terrible, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm sitting here just freaking dying watching this happen. Also, if they have an iPhone, why the fuck do they have this shitty ass like Blackberry? It's G Mobile, actually. Uh, G Mobile well, sidekick? G Mobile is the carrier, probably not the phone. The G phone is the sidekick. sidekick. I said that. 
No, he I said, said G-Mobile. it's a G Mobile, G Mobile sidekick. Again, G Mobile. Oh probably my the- God! Just lie about AIDS. Okay, you're going to want to take a seat. I've heard it all, Nicole. Uh, no, you really haven't heard whatever she's about to tell you. <laughs> whatever she's about to tell you. Um, we just came from the doctor and we, um, we tested positive for HIV. We, we positive tested for, co- we positive tested for both it. Positive because we went so long without treatment. We won't get the results till later, though. You both went to get tested together at the same place? Yeah. And where was that? Like the... Like the Springfield Clinic? And you expect me to just believe this, shouldn't you? Think about it, Miss Lynn. If you believe us and we're lying, it's just a little prank. But if we're telling the truth and you don't believe us, you're gonna have to explain that to the local news. And we'll have to explain that to the national news. How our principal made us cry while we're literally dying from AIDS. Damn. I need to see some documentation, girls. Do you realize the odds? How would you even get HIV in high school? We didn't get it. In uh, high school. very yeah. easily, actually. Saying, but we go to a lot of. I parties. knew a bunch of people in high school who ended up getting STDs. Yeah. Because of the people they were sleeping with. But I have. So it's not that uncommon. So it all kind of adds up. Yeah, and I have a, in general. Small world, one of my 30 boyfriends has that too. 30 boyfriends? Oh yeah, when a Dominican construction worker cat calls me, just immediate relationship. Yeah, I love Jekka, but she's a major ho- I don't get paid. So you both got your results for HIV? Did the blood work and everything? Yeah, that's what we said. What's your T-cell count? Uh, I, I don't get it. We don't take shop. You don't take shop? Yeah, they use T-cells in shop class. What's that have to do with AIDS? That's a T-square, Nicole. Fuck! What? No, if you knew, why'd you look at me? I didn't know how much we were supposed to say. How the fuck would I know? You said we had AIDS. It all comes out. And coincidentally, I have a lovely way for you girls to spend your Saturday afternoon. Or you're expelled. This sucks. <laughs> what the fuck? The cat freaked out. This sucks. We're almost set up here, but thank you to everyone for coming to the AIDS Awareness Speaking. We have about 10 guests here with their journeys to share, and we hope you can all learn a lot from them. I could be at the MSI show right now, but no, I can't because I listen to you. Oh, don't say that. Don't say we have AIDS when you don't know what the fuck a T-cell is. Like she was supposed to believe you had a Rolodex of 50 guys? It was 30. It was fucking stupid. And she didn't ask about T-cells until after you said that. 30 guys? What are you, a public restroom? Jesus. Why is AIDS such a big deal anyway? Isn't Magic Johnson like the healthiest man on earth? Huh? Magic Johnson? He got AIDS like 20 years ago and he's fine. Who's Magic Johnson? Is that a I don't think so. My dad talks about him a lot. You don't think your dad could like a male Nicole, I'm already here. I don't need to also have a crisis over whether my dad's gay or not, okay? You don't you don't have a lot to say, do you? Email quiz for Miss Lynn. I I, I I really Are you just, just trying to car, 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 compartmentalize? I don't I do not want to watch this man. <laughs> you don't? Why are you here? You, know we're telling the truth. you asked me to be here. I didn't ask you to be here. I said that you had to be. Just record the crowd so it shows you. teachers are fucking insane. It's all about. Remember that crazy game that we played the other day? Oh yeah, the one I walked out of halfway through because I was just so fucking done with it. Yeah, there's a second one. <laughs> there's a second one. Great. Okay, well I'm gonna go to class now. Are you going this time? Everything's uh, everything in this game is just <laughs> crazy off the top. That happened because we lied about why we skipped. Well, okay. Are you looking for a classroom or another excuse right now? Oh my God, you sound like my mom. Whatever. See you later. Hey, Nicole, you got a minute? I got my whole life ahead of me. Doesn't mean I'll waste it talking to you. Oh, totally. But I, I mean, nah. You see, I was asking around and wondered if you wanted to go to the knife collector show, the expo center. Why the fuck would any girl want to go do that with you? No, it's not like a date. It's, uh... Did we meet Hunter? Yeah, how are you? Why is his fucking neck so long? Oh. He looks like a goddamn giraffe. You're typing. Sorry, it's just kind of hard to talk to you. Good. Good. So what you doing today? Uh, skipping class, theater class, art class. I don't care. Just pick whatever you want, Let's man. Let's go with your favorite. Let's go with art class. 
For this week's assignment, Mr. Lore, really open the floor of creativity. It's all about the lore. The lore. We're going to draw a few characters. We're going to draw what? Some Sonic OCs? Like newspaper without the ink. What the fuck did my mom pay a $50 supply fee for if we're drawing on newspaper? <laughs> yeah, isn't that cheaper than printer paper? It's not cheaper, it's just specialized. Art classes are here to remind you you're special. So are homeless people special when they eat out of the garbage? <laughs> Your minds are special. Is he calling us special ed? I guess we are if we took this class. And <laughs> oh my god, do you feel attacked? Because you're the art class kid. <laughs> no, because she's a bitch. Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. You think I care what she has to say? Dude, I fucking hated art. She's got no self-respect. I absolutely fucking hated art class. I absolutely hated art class. Because you're a terrible teacher. Dude, my, my art class teacher in middle school was one of those teachers that was like, I want you to draw something. And so I was like, all right, I guess, like, what do you want? And they were like, draw me anything. So I'll draw them literally anything that I could think of. And then they were like, no, not this. Something artistic. And I was like, bitch, the fuck? You just told me to draw you something. So I fucking did. And then she failed me. And I was like, the fuck? How do you fail art? How do you fail art? I drew you a still life of my textbooks and you failed me? If there are no further questions. Yeah, your teacher was an asshole. She said that's not artistic enough. Anyway, I actually kind of like this art teacher, so we'll actually draw. This is gonna suck ass. Yeah. I didn't listen to half what he just fucking said, so. Because you were too busy ranting and raving about your shitty art teacher. I love my art teachers in high school. They're great. Yeah, and I still had to pay like $100 to get all the extra materials that we needed. I didn't pay jack shit for my materials. I, pay, I had to pay for every single thing that I brought into that classroom. Bro, you had a terrible art program in your school. So yeah, why do we have to draw and paint? It's our last year of high school. The only thing I paid for was when I did stuff in our honor society or when I bought my own pencils and sketchbook. Those were the only materials I I had to buy a sketchbook and my teacher told me it couldn't be a white paper sketchbook. It had to be a papyrus paper sketchbook. I don't know what the fuck your teacher was on, but... And then... It had she to shouldn't be, be on it in school. <laughs> she she was telling me that I had to draw specific things, but that's the thing, right? Is she she handed me? Those are the kind of people I call f uh, fart fun, teachers, fun vampires, because they just suck the fun out of everything. Is that this thing, right? Is because like I was expecting to have fun in art class. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do art stuff. I like drawing anime. I like drawing still life. I like, you know, uh, you know being creative, right? And then Those, when I showed creativity, she threw it down on the ground and said, no, fuck that. Those are the kinds of people that you don't want teaching creative stuff is because they're the kind of people that shit on everything that somebody does if it's not what they like to do. Fine, I'll do your little baby drawing, okay? To the best of your ability. Oh yeah, you'll see. She's gonna draw a or something, isn't she? And that weird charcoal stuff. Yeah, I wash my hands for like two minutes. It doesn't come off. Damn, our kids. There's that I fucking creepy I don't mind using kid. charcoal. Charcoal's an okay medium. So this is the thing, it's just right? very messy. I loved using charcoal because I am a traditional artist. I like using pencil. I like using grayscale. I'm not much with colored pencils. I, I love using grayscale because that's how I shade the most. That's that's my art, my expertise. <sighs> Uh, I like using charcoal because it's easier to rub in the shading because I can I, when I when I think of images that I want to draw I think them I think of them in black and white first and it's hard for me to make them colored because then I have to force myself to look at them in a in a different shade I'm always I'm different like because I think of things in a 3d perspective and I think of them with color first and the, and the color shapes before the rest of it um you did on him with who? It was, I'd have I, to say my least favorite medium, I'm not really least favorite, but one I don't use very often would be pastels. I just think they're a little too messy for me, and they don't have that nice, clean, crisp lines the way that I like them. They just kind of, I wouldn't say bleed, but it's, it's like, it's chalk, so it gets in everything. I, um, I have this issue where I will overthink the 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 drawing that I'm trying to think of, I'll have I'll have this overthinking issue where 
I'm trying to draw something simple, but I'll add way too much detail into it in my own thought process. So I'll end up getting frustrated because it I can't- It takes a lot for an ugly woman to cheat. Sup, bitches. Who invited you? Damn. Anyway, but yeah, I, I was gonna say like- I don't even know what the fuck is happening right now. Neither do I. But, um, yes, like when I'm trying to draw something simple, like especially in anime, I get frustrated way too easily because I think of a lot of- What the fuck? In practice it was. Bro, I don't even think we should be having this conversation in it, in something like this, bro. There's just too much. It's happening. I just, I don't, I don't like this. Dude, what? Don't be lame right now. Why are you still here? Me? No, both of you. Is that Nicolas Cage on his shirt? We're not gonna fuck either. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's not, because I was expecting it to look like Jesus in the corner of my eye, but that just looks like fucking Nicolas Cage. Every week. Are you still watching Real Housewives Atlanta? No, I got tired of it. Is it bad now? No. Well, Nicole's shirt works right. It's the other girl's shirt that never works right. Yeah, Jekka. Yeah, I only watch at midnight when they're selling Girls Gone Wild and Enzai. Do you think they pay well? Who, Bravo? No, Girls Gone Wild. There's my artist. Hello, girls. Oh, God. Let's keep the conversations to inside the classroom. Oh, I won't be long. I just wanted to compliment your effort today, Nicole. He seems nice. But then, sinking uh, your teeth into the... I don't... I don't like this. I feel like he's gonna turn into one of those teachers. Mr. Laurie. I look forward to the final prize. Beautiful girls make... Oh God! Never mind. I take back what I said. I don't said. like it anymore. Thursday, Nicole. What a fucking weirdo! What's his problem? I think he's a tiny bit Indian. Cool. Another child predator. You've literally said that about every guy teacher here. Well, it's literally true. You still have a dad, so they don't go for you as much. Really? Yeah. Father figure is like top five male fantasies. Right after murder. Oh, and if they hook up with you, there's no angry dad to kick their ass over it. Exactly. So you could be prettier, but I'm way more. <sighs> I, wanna... I, my fair share I want a surfing code 1987. All of them wanting sex. <laughs> well, no, not. I don't them. like this. It's. I... Yeah, I'm pretty sure. This is like definitely like, like the troll era of of gaming. Murder. You know what I'm talking about? Anyone who opposes that is probably like some ugly white guy who gets mad at video games. Is that a thing? I wonder if Jamie Lynn had that baby yet. Excuse me, Nicole? First week of school and your friends are already pregnant. Uh, no, Mom. Jamie Lynn Spears? I don't care who her parents are. I don't want you hanging around girls who make bad decisions. A little late for that. This is a new... A few clips that I saw on YouTube, it was fucking hilarious. Just half of the shit that we've seen so far has been just way different than what I've seen. They, they go from, like, witty comebacks to... You're within the same fucking sentence and, and it's like, like ah. it's <laughs> not it's not funny anymore like it, i guess maybe it was kind of funny the first few times but it, this they is, use it in every sentence <laughs> it's the it's every single thing she says it was funny honestly answer that for all of them it's excuse after excuse you're driving me crazy with your bullshit nicole i just got the fuck home can we do this later another excuse get your shit together and we won't fucking have website this called with all the shit, fucking like Flash Stop games lying. on it. Quit shoplifting. Don't talk back to your teachers and fix your fucking drug problem. What drug problem? What are you talking about? Stay out of my medicine cabinet, Nicole. Mom, you are so fucking paranoid. It's not right that. Now. Am I? You wouldn't mind if I looked in your backpack, would you? I would mind, but you wouldn't find shit anyway. Because you did it all at school, right? What is this, the Salem Ho Trials? Newgrounds. Two options. This is one, this is one of the games I'd think that we'd find on Newgrounds back in, like, the early 2000s. Right now, your school troll, is the Troll, troll edgy games. You, you wouldn't kick me out. I can do whatever I want. Except find a good husband, right? Shut oh, your shit! Windows closing, Mom. Oh, I want to hit you so bad right now. Where's my back? Top shelf on the left. Why did I say? Damn, that was a hard, that was a cold hard roast. Are you drawing? Can I see? No, no, not yet. Surprise. I don't know what you're drawing for this class, but it better be really good if you care this much. We're graded on effort. I wonder if art studios hire based on effort. Oh, I just finished my drawing. I think they do, right? Do art studios grade on effort? No. 
They are, do they grade like on result? Or are they, it well, depends. Because I know some of them, like some art studios, they hire some really weird looking art. And collect your artwork. Like I said, it depends. Here. Care to explain the piece to me? It's me and Ryan Sheckler at the Warp Tour. Ryan Sheckler? Yep, yeah, bitch, he's sexy. That's an unlockable character in Tony Hawk. He's not even real. You are really fucking stupid. Watch the language, Nicole. Fuck, sorry. I mean, shit, sorry. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> That's, that was definitely me when I got caught cursing one time. If you say so. This is... Uh, oh my god! Oh, it's a picture of you... While your wife blows the UPS man. <laughs> what? How? Where'd you get this information? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Was it FedEx? This isn't funny, Nicole. I think it's pretty funny. Insubordination, inappropriate imagery, and harassment of faculty. I'll let Principal Lynn handle you. I'm sorry. Harassment? That's precisely what this is. There's nothing sexy about you. It's just regular harassment. <laughs> What Damn. an asshole. This bitch better have some Valium left. Expelled! Guess not. I told you you were on thin ice and what'd you go and do? What the fuck are you talking about? You really think they'd refer you to the board for expulsion without giving me a phone call? The fuck you mean expelled? I got suspended, thank you. Suspended indefinitely! Yeah, indefinitely. Meaning not definite, like not for sure. Meaning until they know what to do with you. That's how much trouble you're in. Fucking whatever. It's not a big deal, Mom. They always threaten this. And what if they follow through? I don't know. It's not even your problem. Just fuck off. So I take it you're not my problem either. Definitely not. Fine. As of tonight, you no longer live here. What? You heard me. Pack your shit. Get out of my house. Go drink some wine. You're such a bitch when you're sober. Get the fuck out of my house! Are you serious right now? Come on. Should I call the police? You know what? Do it. God damn it. Yeah, I felt like that once. That 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 almost happened to me one time. <laughs> minutes ago. Okay, what the hell is going on? Do you still have that futon in your basement? Yeah, it's covered in dried Mr. Pib, but yeah. I guess that's fine. Can I sleep here? Tonight? No, bitch, tomorrow. Are you really getting expelled over that drawing? That's bullshit. Just tell your mom that. I'm done telling my mom anything. She can rot in a tanning bed for all I care. Well, you're gonna rot in the street if you don't work it out with her. Dude, you have a house. Just let me stay with you. If it was my house, you could stay all you want, but it's my parents' house. Mom will get pissed. That'll probably hit on you. It'll be weird. Okay, so you and your dad against her. That's perfect. I feel like I'm reading a really bad teenage novel. Again, well, this was made by people, so... Roll-ups in your kitchen? <sighs> I'll be right back. Wonder which mall has the softest benches. Those are the worst benches ever. It's like they don't want homeless customers. Damn, Nicole, you're here early. Yeah, you too. What for? Just buying something. Buying what? Are you a cop? Bitch, do I look like a cop? Yeah, just waiting for Kyler. He's supposed to sell me his oxy. He's got a lot, right? Totally. These dumbass white guys break their legs and turn into pharmacies. I'd buy more from him, but then I'd have to give him my phone number. No, you don't. MySpace. Make a ghost account. A ghost account? Or they call it a burner or a puppet. Basically an account separate from you, where you do illegal shit. Oh, I think I already have one of those. What do you use it for? Stalking people who blocked me. Kind of a waste. You have the right people, you can buy anything on there. Drugs, guns, ass, whatever. Drugs, guns, and ass. And the cops aren't tracking that? No, they're old ass cops. They can't figure that shit out. Cool. Yeah, this is good to hear because my mom kicked me out yesterday. I should buy something to forget about this shit. Are you couch surfing or straight up homeless? Homeless straight up. I slept on a bench last night. Damn. We'll go make some money on MySpace. But I don't have any drugs or guns to sell. You know what I meant. I don't have any guns uh, or drugs to sell. To Damn. Store. It really be like that sometimes. No, I think about it every week. I just never thought I'd have this crossroad in high school. Shit happens, dude. I wouldn't think any less of you. Yeah, but would I think less of myself? Yo, what's up? I, I got the shit. Where the fuck were you? Places? I got shit to do. I'm not some drug addict like you. They're not for me. They're for my boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? I don't even want to sell this to you anymore. Are you kidding me? I got a hundred for the bottle right here. One ten. You said a hundred on MySpace, asshole. Yeah, but you didn't say you had a boyfriend. Fuck me. Okay, one ten. Here. Thanks. And, and let me know when you're single. Let me know when you're not. What? Have fun, Nicole. I'll try. 
Gotta get home before Mind of Mencia comes on. Kyler, can I have a pill? I don't have a boyfriend. Panhandling pills? What are you, homeless? Uh, no. Oh, good. Yeah, you can have one, because I fucking hate them. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. What Seriously, the fuck? <laughs> You've that, gone quiet for, like, a good ten minutes. Exterminated off the planet. Yeah, that's I feel my idea. brain cells <laughs> dying with every word. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. Farm animals. Give me the fucking pill! Whoa, fine. Are you like an addict? You could say that. Sweet, yeah. Drug addict girls are hot because they're really easy to control. Oh my god! Christ. What? Oh, uh... I think Mind of Mencia is starting soon. Oh, you're right. I, I gotta go. <sighs> okay, I gotta figure something out. Oh god. <laughs> Work at dying DVD store and get fired the soon. Car, yeah, she or start my own car wash where I'm already thinking about there's probably going to be a scene where she's doing that thing where she squeezes the sponge over her chest. And which one's going to get us demonetized the least? This entire thing's going to get us demonetized. <laughs> yeah, probably why, the car wash. I don't know why you're asking this question. I wonder what's going to get us demonetized first. The entire thing. <laughs> I don't know. This is just the so, entire thing. This is so weird. That's why I said we shouldn't even post this, bro. Hey, I'm not the one that suggested it, honestly. But I mean, I Aaron's the off first his one. rocker, bro. I said this is the first one. Aaron is off his rocker. It's <laughs> like, well, maybe we could play the second one. I guess I did kind of suggest the second one, but I was like, I didn't know it was gonna be this fucking bad. You played the first one. Of course, it was gonna be that bad. Anyway, let's do the car wash. In a hardware store alone. Now I know how it feels to be racist. Oh, hey, Nicole. Uh, oh, wait, it's not awkward. Uh, what's awkward? Usually when I see someone from school in public, I try to avoid them. But I just realized I'm not in school anymore. Did you drop out? No, I'm getting expelled. For what? Some bullshit. Don't worry about it. Okay, yeah. Well, at school, stuff's been going good for me. Do you know where the sponges are? I'm trying to start a car wash near the chemical supplies but i'm still class president could you not interrupt me I'm who the fuck cares anymore you're not my president well i'm still a person so you should respect me dude i'm out of high school you're just a memory now there's zero consequences for anything i say to you are you even you're a excuse me i have a boyfriend and a purity ring for real who the fuck cares a little late for you no it's never too late to have your boyfriend fuck every girl but you i don't need to take this i'm on the honor roll something you'll never do bitch why don't you shut the fuck up before i slit your throat and watch the honor roll out Are damn you threatening me no i'm hitting on you flash me a bitch damn and there is no one she can report me to awesome except maybe the police that was a death threat I fucking called it. She was gonna. I fucking knew it. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing much. You interested? What are you selling? Car washes, eight bucks. With one of those peanut sponges? Yeah, the big yellow one, hand washed. Get a car wash to support the homeless. With that sponge, fuck the homeless. <laughs> that sponge? Rolla, what are you worried about? Maybe I should flirt more. You washing cars? What does it look? I mean. Yeah, and I'd really like to wash a car like yours. Of course, that'd be a fucking Mustang. Yeah, 300 horsepower. Not to brag. Of course not. It is what it is, right? Yeah, it's the GT, so leather seats and everything. Leather is so sexy. You want to take me for a ride after I get this cleaned? A ride where? I don't know. Your place, maybe? I don't think my husband would like that. <laughs> Wow. Since when the fuck do gay people drive Mustangs? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was okay. Oh that was God. funny, dude. Oh, I've hit the mouse on the screen the entire time. Fuck. Damn, you went sixteen to ten. Oh, hey, sweetie, what you doing here on a? Oh my God. Not this guy. To do that at school without staff supervision? I'm a student here. It's whatever. Are you sure you're allowed to go that fast? Ah, there's no kids around today. And even if I hit one, it's just a write-off. How Damn. is that a write-off? Because you write them off the student list. Wow. So you want a car wash? I might have some time. How much? Eight bucks. Get that shirt wet, and I'll give you ten. God damn. School, Mr. Colby. You're right. You're right. Fifteen then. Not what I meant. Fifteen what? 
years in prison at this rate. Nicole, what do you think you're doing here? She's a student. She could be here. Yeah, I know, right? She got expelled, Mr. Colby. What? Is this true? I didn't get expelled. I'm suspended indefinitely while they consider expulsion. Honey, you can't be here. You gotta go. Why? Or else what? Or I gotta report you for an unsanctioned car wash. Well, I'll report you for trying to buy a wet t-shirt car wash. Uh... Well, maybe we could just forget about all this. Oh, what? I didn't see anything. You were literally walking up as he said it. No, actually, as I recall, you were offering him a topless car wash. Right, Mr. Colby? Oh, uh, uh, oh, yeah. Are you oh actually God. fucking kidding me? Who's the Now, Nicole. You Jesus bitches are fucked up. God, MySpace sucks on the phone. How do I make a new account? Oh, shit, what's up? Hey, what's good? I didn't know you drank coffee. Do you need to be somewhere? I don't need to be anywhere. It just tastes good. Are you still homeless? Basically. I'm trying to use the Starbucks Wi-Fi right now. Did you try what I told you about? No, I'm making the account for it now, though. What should my name be? I mean, something that just lets people know you're down, honestly. Gotcha. How about Dirty Little Rental? Little All right, what about Pierced Princess? Hmm, I like the innuendo, super cute, but really emo. I got shit to be emo about, don't I? Yeah, true. But that's probably already taken, so put X's in the name. Okay, XX Pierced Princess XX. It's available. There you go. Damn, you went from, like, hesitant to making awesome screen names. What happened over the week? Like, I just came to grips with the fact that... When you're pretty, retail and escorting make you feel equally disgusting. Yeah, either way, you deal with hideous people against your will. So who do I add? How do I even know they're around here? There's one guy who's pretty much connected with everybody in the area. You add one, then the others start hitting you up. What's his name? Uh... uh. Casanova420? Yeah, I see him here. Added. So when he accepts, just PM him and he'll shut you out. Cool, but how does it work? I don't have a car. When you're selling favors, they usually come to you. And if you let them pay you in drugs, you get way more for your time. Have you done this before? I'm on there, but I never sold favors. My friends in Laurel have, though. Damn, there's some white trash in Laurel, too. Would they get paid in drugs? Yeah, but only because they had people to sell to. Anyway, I gotta go. Good luck with the Wi-Fi. God, this is sketchy. I guess if one of them kills me, it'll make my mom mad. Yo, what the f That's what you're worried about? <laughs> I feel like oh my brain's boy. gonna explode. <laughs> Weeks of being homeless, you don't really look that homeless. What do you think? Everybody homeless wears a barrel with suspenders? No, but you're still so, like, clean and put together. The homeless dudes on the bus are covered in dried spit in Burlington Coat Factory. A lot of the guys let me crash, use their shower, everything. Guys that you're meeting on... On MySpace, yeah. I never thought I'd ask this not as an insult, but... How's being a going? Escort? Or that... Whatever means... Money for On MySpace, we don't call it We call it favors. So, what are the guys like? Are they really weird? Well, they're buying favors so obviously, but the actual doing it isn't even the worst part. It's after. What is it awkward? Uh, so after they finish, depending on the guy, you get this wide range of emotions from wanting to save you to wanting to kill you. What's in the middle? Wanting you to get out before their wife comes home. They're married? What if they get you pregnant, Nicole? There's upper favors and lower favors. I don't do lower favors. Those are for ugly girls. Shit. What do they pay if you're not giving it all up? There's not really a number, because I usually trade for drugs. Guys into this are like pharmacies. Oh my god. That would be some awesome shit if you're not getting paid. Oh, it is. <sighs> this is really uncomfortable. Pills this week. They're not free if you're doing favors for them. Let's not get that deep. But you're only doing this because you're homeless. For real? What I'm this is like the worst soap opera I've ever watched. It would be better than where you are right now. Most American I would opera. rather be doing anything else than this. I would rather be taking a shit than watching this. Beg sober? I can't drugs. sober. And I definitely can't... Do I look like the kind of person who would take drugs? <laughs> uh, you go to a pharmacy, don't you? You can't have... They're prescription, bro! I have to take them! Alright, where do you say drug head? I guess. It's just a month ago I couldn't imagine you doing this. I could never do this. <laughs> I literally need them to survive. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what they all say. <laughs> <laughs> what a 
whatever you say, you fucking addict. <laughs> whatever, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so that to my doctor. Wow, is that what they call them now? Dealers. <laughs> so much easier than phone my space. Let's see. I can only pay in cash if that's okay. Shit. I guess I have enough on me to Oh god. Keep this to yourself. I have a high profile career and don't want this getting around. High Profile means rich. Oh great! It's probably gonna be her fucking principal. Blackmail money. I Watch. Hold up a camera phone in his face for the proof. Nicole, you're not allowed to use MySpace on the library computer. It's got a Harry Potter right? shirt on. Do you know how to set up a timed photo on the sidekick? The phone? Don't change the subject. I'm the librarian assistant. You're gonna get me in trouble. Why can't we use MySpace? It's not an educational website. I learned how to break into a car on MySpace. How is that not educational? Rules are rules, Nicole. You need to log off now. Log off? I gotta reply to this. Dude, can you just act like a hot bitch for once? But I'm not a hot bitch. No, I... Your, um... Your glasses are cute. Just cute, though. Did I say cute? I meant hot. Like, for free hot. What? No, I feel kind of nerdy wearing them, but contacts hurt my eyes. Nerdy? No, they're like really distinctive in a hot way. You could like be in Playboy with a quad. What is fucking like, going on? Tramp stamp? Like the back tattoo? Yeah, dudes could study it while hitting you doggy and shit. I'm allergic. What the fuck? <laughs> a Karen, a what is this? Go what is going on? Like what are hot bitches supposed to act like? Hot bitches aren't worried about losing their depressing unpaid internship at the local library. Well, I guess you can use the computer for five more minutes, but then you really gotta log off. Close enough. So, how do I do a timed photo? Uh, okay. So you go to the camera section, do new capture, then go over to flash and exposure settings. Okay, that camera angle should be good. Where is this guy? And I wonder how rich he's gonna be. He could be like a basketball player, or Steve Jobs, or the guy who invented. She's gonna leave this the flash on, and it's gonna oh, he's gonna fucking see it, isn't it? He probably can't even recognize me. It's gonna be her fucking teacher, or her fucking principal. I swear to God, it's gonna be her principal. Hey, you weren't looking for favors, were you? Guilty as charged. Pure oh my God. What the fuck? You're not rich. You're Mr. Lori. Oh God. You work at a school and you're on that part of MySpace? Uh, Nicole, please stop. Oh no. That's why your wife left you. You kept paying for ass on the internet. Emily, come out here. Damn, I was hoping you were the guy from Transformers. <laughs> what was this? We thought you were going to be a celebrity, so Nicole had me hide with her camera phone. Oh, two witnesses. Why not just use the self-timer? I couldn't figure it out. How long have you been <laughs> <laughs> I'm just very anxious. I popped three Zans and I'm still freaking out. How'd you think I feel? No, come on. Let, let's work something out here. Like what? No, fuck that. This dude got me expelled. He ruined my life. I'm sorry, Nicole. Just please don't tell anyone about this. You better pay up then. Starting at a thousand. Each. But... <laughs> On a teacher's salary and my house payment. Your house was foreclosed. What do you got to worry about? Bitch, take a loan out. Yeah, ask your wife for that UPS money. All right, fine. Fine. Uh, I'll go to the ATM if you promise to just not tell anyone. Oh, for sure. Yeah, trust me. You're <sighs> oh a soul. You know, damn well we told after we got the money. I told Jekka... Jekka showed the photo to Miss Lynn. Miss Lynn informed the school board, and the school board deemed his accusation of me unreliable because he pays for. My mom got a call from the principal saying I'm back in school, so I'm not homeless anymore either. Everything just kind of worked out. Aside from all the. Trauma, <laughs> Why'd you shake your head so work. violently? I was worried he'd get revenge on me because I snitched. <laughs> what the fuck happened? Roll. But honestly, oh my god. Rules don't really exist when you're actually living on the street. Everyone's gonna have an opinion on what I did to survive. But let's see you homeless with no one to crash with. Those upper favors are gonna start sounding real convenient. Then again, you're probably not as pretty as me, so you'd only get paid for what lower favors. Bend over, bitch. Yeah, I've been homeless several times. What does it matter? Thank God it's over. 
I did something really bad to get off of homelessness. It's uh, called joining the military. That was probably the worst thing I did to fight homelessness. Let's uh, just not play this game again, ever. Thanks. <laughs> well, I think that's it for this video. Um, <sighs> unless this gets like really, really positive reviews, I don't think we're doing I don't even think we should post this one, dude. It's so bad. I don't know. I don't. Certain parts of it are really bad. The whole thing is bad, dog. <laughs> but anyway. Um, oh my god, bro. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, that whole thing was super uncomfortable to watch. This whole thing was just crazy. Are you still setting? I don't want to read that. Anyway, I really don't even know what to say anymore, but thanks thanks for watching. And thank you to all of our YouTube members. They make this possible. If you want to join and get your name shown here, hit the join button or the link in the description. And thank you to our gold members, the Eternal and the Pinky Life. If you want to be shouted out too, select the gold peeps tier in our membership tiers. Bye. 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 <laughs>